Let's take a look at how we can optimize a portfolio using Google Sheets. So the way what I'm going to use to optimize this portfolio is the Sharp Ratio. Now the Sharp Ratio looks at the excess return, that is the expected return of the portfolio, minus the risk-free rate, divided by a measure of risk, in this case the standard deviation of the portfolio. So it basically tells us the excess return we get per unit of risk or per unit of standard deviation. So what I did was I collected some return data, actually some price data on Amazon, Google, and Tesla and I got it from Yahoo Finance and I have uh, videos that show you how to do that and I converted these to returns and then I calculated the expected return or the average return over this five-year holding period for these different securities. I also computed the variance covariance matrix right here. So this would be the variance of Amazon, this is the variance of Google, and this is the variance of Tesla, and this would be the covariance between Amazon and Google, the covariance between Tesla and Amazon, etc. And I've put in some arbitrary weights in here. So what do I what do I want? I want the sum of the weights to add up to 100%. So here I just put in 50% for Amazon, 25% for Google, 25% for Tesla. I calculated the expected return based on those weights by simply taking a weighted average, 50% times 2.91, 25% times 2.46, etc and I calculated the standard deviation as well. So I used an approach here that calculates the contribution to variance from each security. And I have a video that shows you how to do that. And there are other ways to calculate the standard deviation. You can use matrix algebra. You can also use the formula where you take the weight in the first stock squared times the variance of the first stock plus the weight in the second stock squared times the variance of the second stock etc and then plus two times the weight in the first times the weight in the second times the covariance between the first and the second stock etc so there's several ways you can do that um, but here I just have the calculation done so I have the sharp ratio here and the sharp ratio being this return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation. And what I want to do is I want to find the weights that maximize this value. So we can do this in Solver um, in Google Sheets. So they have a function and you go to extensions and you use the Solver function. Now I already have it installed but if you don't have it installed you can go to add-ons, get add-ons, and simply type in solver, and then install this um, in Google Sheets. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to go to solver and I'm going to say start, and you have a choice. You're going to set the objective function, what it is you're trying to maximize. So for us, that's going to be the sharp ratio. So that's in L28. We want to maximize it, although you have choices of maximizing, minimizing, or um, solving for a certain value of this. So I've done this also. You can do this to minimize the value of the variance of the portfolio or the standard deviation of the portfolio. We want to maximize this value. What variables do we want to change? We want to change the weights and the weights are in M16 N16 and O16 all right so we want to change these weights here and we want to add a constraint and that constraint is is that this value here the sum of the weights, which is in L25, 
the relationship is we want it to be equal to a hundred percent or we want it equal to one. So when you're using a uh, solver in Google Sheets, you have to put in one, not a hundred percent. In Excel, I believe you have to put in a hundred percent and not one. So I'm going to say OK. And you get down here, you also have some options. So if you go through the options, you know, it tells you about uh, convergence and things like that. But the one you care about is this non-negative assumption. That is, we don't want to short sell, uh, you know, Amazon to buy more of Google. So I want to click that on. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click Solve. And it's going to work through this and it should change these values to give us the optimal value. So here we have it. Wait a minute. These are, let me um, get rid of this and just reformat these. So I'm going to make these percentages. And you can see that the optimal percentages are 29.81% of Amazon, 51.07% of Google, and 19.11% of Tesla. And that maximizes our Sharpe ratio at 46.57. So um, this is a nice way to find the optimal portfolio. So you have a bunch of securities in your portfolio. You're trying to figure out what weights will give you the best risk return characteristics okay and this is one of the ways you can do it by using the solver function in Google Sheets.